They isolate Jeffrey to the left side. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Cutler to Jeffrey on the hook up there. 42 yards. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll look to throw. Now a desperate. And this is caught inside the five. A gain of 39 that time. Brandon, we did watch him play well on tape last week, and it was a lot of fun to watch. And he put together some nice numbers, some really nifty plays, and he's doing it again this week. And what I'm seeing is he takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll start things out at the 25. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven it. seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. He's got a man complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Face mask. Defense. And I know it's hard in live action, but you've got to keep your hands away from the face. That's a 15-yard penalty. You work on it all the time, making sure your target area is lower and trying to keep your hands away from the face mask so you don't get the big penalty. And Crosby puts it through, and that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Well, so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big-time return to seize the momentum back. So now it'll all come down to Robbie Gold. This a long one from 54. It looks good, and it is good. From 54 yards away, he bangs it through. And they have regained the lead. And just a heck of a final drive that you and I just got to witness. We got to see calm, cool, and collected in action, didn't we? That allowed them to go down the field and score the game-winning points. So for Chicago, the win pushes their record now to 11-2 on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, it's a potentially fatal blow to their playoff chances as they drop to 6-7 and seven on the year. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.